why do I have like 20 bronzers that are open? I don't know. Ugh. I don't know what to do here. This feels like a mistake. I'm stressed. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana. If you're new here, I am 25. I live in Seattle and my life's a mess. Okay, that was a little dramatic. My life is not a mess, but my apartment is a mess. Just cleaning out all of my makeup drawer today. My makeup drawer, I guess I was gonna say drawers, but we only have one drawer now. A very full drawer, but I just cleaned everything out and it feels so good. Spoiler alert, but let's get into it. I feel like this might be one of those projects that I regret doing as soon as I pull everything out, but it really desperately needs cleaned. There are like so many drawers and cabinets and like my closet and just like so many things that need to be organized. And at first I was like, I'll just like do it all in one day and then it'll just be done. And then I was like, who am I kidding? Like, who do I think I am? I will get sick of it. Like one project in and not want to do anything else for the rest of the day so i feel like i need to like break it up a little bit do one project at a time pace myself and i have these little moments where i'm like okay i should like clean something just do it so this is the situation that we're working with this is great in theory i love the like gloss top everything needs a good windex but we'll do that when we're done cleaning <laughs> I love it, like it's very sleek, it looks nice, but this drawer, it only comes out to right here. And the depth of the drawer is so far back I can't even reach. So like, I cannot get to anything that's way back in there. I just feel like the design of this was very poor. <sighs> I might regret this, but let's get started. I'm just gonna make a pile of the things that I do use, and then we'll make a pile of the things that I don't use. really expired and just like needs to go to the trash. Okay, I'm just gonna wash these in the sink and then we're gonna do a, a once over on all this stuff and make sure that I actually wanna keep all this stuff because this is still a lot of stuff. Okay, we're in a better place than we were. I also would really love to be in a place where only the front of the store is being utilized because the things in the back I don't see, I don't reach for, like I just like I don't even know they're there. See this is a problem. Okay, let's just like see. Let's plan it out. I did like having my lipsticks in here. Eyeliners and things in this, I'm pretty sure. Or did I have two of these for lips? I need a bronzer and blush organizer. Can't even get this in the freaking drawer. Okay, I'm 
also gonna wipe things off as I'm putting them back in here because everything is just so filthy. I do not need this many chocolate bronzers. This is chocolate. This is milk chocolate. This is milk chocolate. Let's start with foundation because these things, I know what I'm doing. Will this fit sideways? Actually, maybe this one makes more sense than this one because it gives me double the amount of space. I just don't love the blue, but like, no one sees in the store but me. Oh my gosh. Okay, one concealer. This makes me feel better. This I just bought not very long ago and I'm pretty sure I haven't even used. So I definitely want to use this. This is my powder when I'm actually like doing my makeup and putting foundation on. Oh, and my Laura Mercier. Oh, my primers. Shoot. Okay, I'm rethinking this. This instead. I just, ugh. Why do I have so many products? And why do I feel attached to so many products? Okay, and these are the products I use when I'm tanned. So we'll put them more towards the back of this. Okay, these things actually would be nice for when I'm traveling because I that Laura Mercier powder like really takes up so much space. So maybe I will put this with my travel stuff. And I feel like these bronzers too, like these are good. I'm traveling and I don't have a lot of space in my luggage. When you're stressed, sing Taylor Swift and you'll feel better. These two products are like my everyday, no matter what makeup I'm putting on. I just, I have to condense. Like Hyanna, you cannot keep all of these benefit blushes. Okay, I feel like these are like very corally blushes that I really don't gravitate towards anymore. But I just like, I don't wanna get rid of them. <laughs> Why am I like this? I'm stressed. Ugh. I don't know what to do here. Okay, we'll keep you, we'll keep you, keep you. I also have two Becca blushes that I really like and don't wanna get rid of. I think this is one of them. And then I have one other, you. I don't think they even make these anymore, so for sure keeping them. Again, with the small travel things. I should actually use them for travel. Okay, this is that blush that I have in the big size and I love. So we're putting this with the small things. And then this one, Moonstone, I think I don't have a big version of, so it can go in here. And this one, oops. Oh, this one is also Moonstone. Okay, and I like this packaging better. So we'll put this with the travels. These, I actually, I don't think I need these Kylie ones. I offer them to my mom and if she doesn't want them, then they're going away. Oh, and I forgot about this. These are the products that I use like literally every day. Another chocolate bronzer. What in the world? I've decided I don't need you in my life. I don't need it. I didn't use this one. I didn't use this one. I can't pick it out. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys, we did it. We did the damn thing. I actually can't believe how much I got rid of. I'm allowing myself to keep these two boxed blushes, and if I don't use them in the next, I don't know, month, then I'll get rid of them. I feel like it's also good to have this backup powder. And then I'm just gonna put these travel ones in here. Since I have the room, it's okay, everyone. Don't worry. Oh, shouldn't have filled it before. Didn't think this through. Come on! Okay. Wow, that was really aggressive. I'm sorry. I am in disbelief. Finished product. The reveal. We have all of my like skincare, like not skincare, all of my like face products, powders, concealers, foundations. We have blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. All of my like mascaras, eyeliners, brow products, and then all of my lip stuff. I feel like you can't quite see, but like, hello, the drawer does not come out any further. So that's what we're just dealing with. I literally always do this to myself where I put off these tasks for so long. That took me like an hour, which is a good chunk of time, but like now it's clean and it's done. Done and like I only have the products in here that I actually will use. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. I think 15 year old me would be so upset by this. She wanted like the biggest, baddest, grandest makeup collection ever. Like I wanted 
drawers and drawers. I wanted like a whole closet devoted to makeup. And now I'm like, that is so wasteful. Like never in a million years am I going to use all of that makeup before it like all expires and goes bad. It was much needed and I'm gonna feel so much better tomorrow when I open up these drawers to do my makeup and I can actually find things. What is that like? I have many more things in my life that need to be organized and cleaned out. So there will be a part two and probably three and four and five. Now that this is done, this is the next project that I want to tackle. These drawers right here. This is like makeup extended and also like skincare stuff, hair tools and products, and it desperately needs to be cleaned out. I think I have like 52 makeup palettes in here and this is the cleaned out version. So needless to say, it's time. But again, thank you for joining me on this journey. Really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like this video give it a subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe this will motivate you to clean out something of yours that really needs to be done because if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. But I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>